this is something I personally, and I know more than likely other people struggle with, is finding the time to be able to meditate. We all know how good meditation is. I know it, you know it, everyone knows that meditation is something wonderful to do for your mental health. Even when I had the time to meditate, I found it to be so difficult. My mind is constantly thinking about something that I have to do or something that I've forgotten to do. And I get it. Yeah, I, I, I totally understand that meditation requires practice to be able to master the skill and then you can see the benefits. I know, but it's so hard because the to-do list keeps growing every day. So how am I supposed to experience the benefits of meditation when I have no time to meditate? So people always say, make time. If it's important to you, make the time to meditate. So there are plenty of times where I have made that a priority. I've made time to meditate. At the end of my session, mentally, I feel great. But then I also realize that my to-do list is still there. <laughs> if you are a caretaker, especially for toddlers, I know you can understand this struggle. Sometimes my life turns into this situation where I have to pick one or the other. It seems like there's always a sacrifice to be made. And I've tried to delay those tasks, try to make it not bother me so much that it isn't done. I also realize that I'm the type of person who likes to wake up in the morning to a clean house, to a clean kitchen. It's a great way to start the day on the right foot. Realizing that the form of meditation where you sit quietly for a half hour, maybe an hour, isn't for everyone. It's definitely not for me in this time of my life. Maybe that will change. But I realize that for now, it is not. But I need to find a way where I can still get the benefits of meditation, but still being able to get the tasks that I need to get done at the end of the day. And my mind was blown when I realized that I can still accomplish my daily tasks and still be able to clear my mind through meditation. So think about this. Have you ever driven home or maybe drove to work and you thought to yourself, wow, like I, I really don't even remember how I got here. You were on autopilot. You did the same routine over and over again to the point where you went on autopilot. You did not require a lot of energy to get this task done. Well, doing this every day-to-day -day task can be the same thing. By pretty much doing the same steps every night when I clean the kitchen, I allow my mind to go into autopilot. It now becomes a routine that I don't have to think about at all. And it allows me to take myself into a deep meditative state. The thing that I like about it the most is because it stimulates a lot of my senses. There are several different tactile stimulation, different textures from leftover food to the dishes to the rags that I use to clean. I tend to set the mood with darkening the lights just a little bit. You can even light a candle if you would like. You can activate your sense of smell with either using a scented candle or essential oils. In my case, I like to keep it as simple as possible because I love the lemon fragrance of the dish soap. When I do the dishes, I love being able to just let the water run down my wrist and feel that cold water just stimulate my senses and just perk up the hairs on my arm while I feel the cold water. It is very refreshing. I also try to be more aware of my posture. So if I'm hunched over, I try to fix that. I pull my shoulders down and back. I take a few deep breaths. I stretch my neck. 
I try to maintain a good posture that I may not have maintained throughout the day. I know, I know, but I try to correct it before I go to sleep. So after you do all of that work, be sure to reward yourself. Whether you decide to pat yourself on the back or treat yourself to something small. Like tonight, I'm just enjoying one of my favorite drinks. I just want you to know that you don't have to set time just for meditation because I know the daunting to-do and task list can be so overbearing. You don't have to choose one, you can have both. My name is Charlie, thank you so much for spending time with me. Leave a comment below and let me know if you were excited to try this. Until then, be sure to cage your peace and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.